Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a new feature that's available in 10.0.39, which is called blind returns. So a blind return is when an item shows up at your dock door and you don't have an RMA for it. So a lot of times clients you work with or, or your, your customers don't always call in for an RMA for an item. So what a blind return now allows you to do, this is new functionality in 10.0.39, allows you when the item comes in, as long as you know the client, the customer number, uh, you can scan the item, enter the customer number, and that's going to create a return for you. So we're going to go, go ahead and walk through that process now. It's really simple, uh, really easy to implement. All right, so let's take a look at the setup on this. So first, first place I'm going to go is underneath uh, warehouse management, and let's go ahead and take a look at the parameters. And there's some new parameters that get added down at the bottom, so there's returns. So the main one that I'm going to do, talk about today is this return uh, creation for mobile device. So I've, so I've enabled that one. The other thing you do need to enable is in these, there's two number sequences down here. Um, this return ID and this load line inventory pick. So I've added uh, number sequences to those as well. So next thing we're going to do, let's go look at the create return item policy. So that's going to be underneath uh, warehouse management, uh, set up return items and return item policies. So you've got some options here on this one. Let me just do new. So we can do it by table and specify a specific op, uh, item. We can do it by group, specify an item group. We can do it by all. And then your return acceptance is always allowed, never allowed, or allowed days after shipment. So on the one that I've got set up, um, this is going to allow this item to be returned 28 days after shipment. So it just kind of allows you to uh, set up your return policies. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to go to the uh, return item receiving policies. So we're going to go underneath uh, setup, mobile device, um, and then return item receiving policies. So again, the one we're going to use today is blind return. There's another option for return details we're not going to cover today, but uh, the one I've set up is going to be blind return. And all you need to do is uh, give it a name, description, and, and return process type was blind return. And where we're going to use that is on the mobile device menu. So if item, let's go to the mobile device menu items and we'll go look at blind return. And this is a, a work mode. We're not gonna use existing work. And the option is called return item receiving. Um, let me go ahead and edit. This one is a little tricky to find. It's, it's all the way at the bottom. It's not in alphabetical order. It's down here at the bottom. So it took me a minute to find it, but it's down there in return item receiving. Um, I'm, it does look like it, it goes into the receive location, so it does need a license plate. So I'm going to have generating a, a license plate. And then I want the user to set a disposition code. So I'm going to say yes to that. And then I'm going to, there's where my item receiving policy ID comes in. So this is the type of return it's going to be. And we're, today we're talking about blind returns. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, we've got our, we need, of course, we've got to add that to our mobile device menu. So we, so we, already done that for us. Um, so next thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and create one. And so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the mobile device and I'm just going to back out of here um, and we'll see. I've created a, a menu for returns and then I've got my blind returns that we're going to look at today. Okay. So what we're going to use is uh, first thing it's going to ask us for is a customer number. So I'm going to put in us-003 is the customer I'm going to use today. And then it's going to ask me for an item. A0001 will be my favorite item of the day. And then here's where that license plating is, plate is automatically getting generated. All right, so we'll go ahead and say, okay. And then we're going to enter a quantity. I'm going to say, I'm going to put a quantity of one there and select that. And then my disposition code, um, I'm just going to choose credit there on my disposition code. And that's completed. So now I can scan another item and, and add this to the same license plate. I can keep adding this on and on. If I want to, I'll just, I'll just uh, make that be the end for today. And we'll go ahead and hit cancel. All right. So now if we go and go into the mixed license plate receiving. So where that's at is under warehouse management. And then it's going to be under inquiries and reports, mixed license plate receiving. So when we come in here, we'll have our license plate that we created. So, so there's our 62 license plate. And we only received one line of an A0001 for customer U, uh, US-003 and um, with an RMA credit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over here to the on-hand screen just to show you that that thing is not on hand yet. So if I go to 
inventory management and the on hand list. And I'll go ahead and apply that. And so right now, the only quantity they have on hand is, is license plate 55. This is one that I did earlier when I was just testing my setup. But uh, so basically I've got 11 in stock. This is one that was done earlier. So our, our license plate that we created today was 62. And notice there's no RMA number on it yet. None of that's been created um, for us. So what we're going to do to actually finish this and create this RMA is we're going to go to license plate and then we'll go ahead and complete that license plate and we should see it go away when this is done. Okay, now that is done. So we're gonna go, I'm just gonna show the completed license plates. Here's the 62 that we just did. Notice now it's got an RMA number, RMA 00032. So I'll click on that just to show you the RMA number. Uh, there we go. Now that what happens, let's go back to the on hand screen and let's refresh this. Let me show you what happened. So now we've got our, um, our license plate 62 for one, and it puts in the receive location. So that's why we need a license plate that's required for the receive location. It's got the license plate on there. And the other thing it does for us, if I go ahead and um, let's just do, uh, go to another tab here, and let's go ahead and take a look at the work that was generated. So if we go to um, warehouse management, work, all work, we'll see that we have for that license plate 62, return order work that needs to be done. So what we're going to do is we're going to go copy that there just so I have that license plate. And so it should tell us to take it to a, a bay door location. That's funny. I've got it set up to a bay door, but uh, it should go to a normal location. So um, let's go ahead and just do an RMA put away. Uh, we'll scan the license plate there and it's going to tell us to pick it up from that receiving location. And then it's going to tell us to put it at the bay door. I'm going to override that to another location. I'm just going to change the location override. And then I'm going to call it, uh, let's say, floor um, dash 01. Is that, that, that a good location? Nope. Uh, floor. Let's go look up a location real quick. It bothers me that that's going to be the wrong location. So we're going to go underneath uh, just a warehouse here. And let's go to locations. And I need to find a location in warehouse 62 is what the, is the word locate warehouse that I'm in. So 62. There we go. We, uh, we're just going to call FL-001. There we go. So FL-001. There we go. And it's going to tell us to put in FL-001 and say, okay, now that work is completed. So now if we go back to the on hand there, we'll go ahead and refresh the screen here. We'll see now we have that license plate uh, 62 is in that FL001 location there. Okay. So then the last step on our, our, um, our RMA is we can go ahead and invoice it, but this is just the normal uh, from right now, you know, what we normally do with an RMA. I'm just going to go ahead and hit invoice. Uh, that'll generate the lines. We're going to say, okay, and that'll generate the invoice for us. So as you can see, that whole process is fairly straightforward. You're going to create, scan in your return. It's going to create that mixed license plate. As a reminder, I only did one item there. You can have a whole list of items that are all on a mixed license plate that are all together, but I just did one. Uh, you're going to, going to complete your license plate. That's going to create the RMA, going to create the put away work as well. So my put away work was a little screwed up. It went to the bay door. I just had a location directive messed up. So Apologies for that. I show you the good, bad, and ugly in these videos most of the time, so I'll show you my screw-ups as well. Um, so if you're new to advanced warehousing, I'll link a list, of, a playlist here if you want to kind of look and see, get the basic, basics of advanced warehousing. It's a good place to start. Take a look at this list. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.